Do y'all remember? Oh, it's right here. 21-24. Great city. And now it's... I'm finna ask y'all, do y'all remember the timestamp on the video yesterday, right? But we just found the... And the other part of this video, I'm gonna drop as soon as I get off stream. Another thing, I'm gonna end up doing two... Well, let me take that back. <laughs> I was finna say, I'm about to do two streams tonight and do the GTA, but... I'm only like 80% sure, so... I don't want to say it like it's a facade, man. You know? It's debilitated and shut down into something that is never going to be able to get rented out again. All those tents out there, they're able-bodied individuals. They're being told that they shouldn't be working and they can collect general assistance and <clears throat> they can stay home and play on their phone. I mean, it's ridiculous, uh, you know. We need to start encouraging people to get back out to the workforce. We need to start making, uh, you know, that like a requirement. This nigga is just talking, bro. Out of everything he just said, nobody remembers. It's 970 people in here, bro. Nobody remembers. I still feel how I feel yesterday. I hate this nigga. I hate this nigga, bro. And these individuals that are coming here from Salt Lake City, uh, uh, Boise, Idaho, all these other places that San Francisco are putting a strain on our services. If they're gonna come here to San Francisco, you need to be working. You can't just come here and just mooch off the taxpayers, you know. Bro, what the fuck you think you do? His content is filming smokers and homeless people. How you gonna say somebody need to come to San Francisco and be working? You don't work. The fuck? Ain't no motherfucking content, nigga. I can see if you interview the people, but he just walk up to them and bash them for being homeless and being smokers. Don't like oh, that me. is ridiculous. So there's ads online for people that come from other parts of the country to come here and, and get shelter. Where are you from, sir? Money. I'm from Montana. He's from Montana. See? Yeah, but, but I didn't come here for that. I live here and I work and I got a job and I got a girlfriend and we do drugs, but we're not robbing cars or fucking sucking off the city, you know, or shitting on the sidewalk. See, so there you go. There you have it. Montana, we're taking in your, your drug addicts as well. All this strain is getting... Bro, somebody tell us, nigga, that every city and state got somebody in there from another city and state. Here you go, Montana, we're taking all your drug addicts. Nigga, that's just one nigga we just seen. You know what I'm saying? I don't like this fool, bro. You used to be a drug addict. If you used to be a drug addict, you can't call nobody a drug addict. Damn, you just recovered faster. What the fuck? This nigga, in the beginning of this video, he was clearly a crackhead. Bro was snorting coke and smoking dope. Talking about we taking on your drug problem. Nigga, you're a drug problem. The fuck? And put on my city and that's why I'm a San Francisco nationalist. I, don't, <laughs> I, I, I really want what's good for San Francisco. You know, you have companies that, are, that used to have four buildings in San Bro, Francisco that now have one floor. Hey, y'all didn't tell me if I lightly hold down the space button I can fast forward the video. Look at this shit. And so all the infrastructure that's been built for this hype is is now sort of collapsing, you know. And then to say that the reason that San Francisco isn't doing well is Why that people living on the street. Y'all didn't know this shit either, huh? The street assessment here in the mission. And 73% of the people that we spoke to were previously employed and housed, okay? Where were they working? They're working in janitorial jobs, in those office buildings. All of those businesses have changed their modality. What? Well, California used to employ hundreds, thousands of people who were working in, in low-level, entry-level jobs, you know, as janitors. I found this out the right time I want to hear business. none of this well, bitch. Now that Hold on, no this nigga is rolling on Much the like the gold type. This nigga parked the trash can? Did we see that right? Did we see that right? This nigga parked the fucking trash can, bro. Hold on. Yeah, y'all didn't know that. Miss me with that shit. Entry-level jobs, you know, as janitors. My as nigga. <laughs> One thing about San Francisco, bro. Yeah, they, they got hella hills out there, nigga. They got a grip of, I don't I forgot where I was at. I forgot the name of the hotel. But it, I think it was, I, I had to be in Chinatown. It's a grip of Asian niggas over there. It done. I walked to the store to go get some blunts. I came back up. My nigga, 
thighs and calves on fucking fire. On my mama rest in peace, I was out there for three days. I start picking up the routine. I'm going to walk down regular, and I start walking up the hills backwards, backpedaling. And then I turn around for like 20 seconds, and then backpedal some more. If you got Air Force One in San Francisco, rest in peace to those. Walking up that hill is the crease of death, my nigga. That is the crease of death, bro. Damn. You know, all the things that supported he about to park that, his whip. that business. Well, they're now that there's no one in those buildings. Right, this spot. Much like the gold tycoons who pillaged the West for its resources centuries ago, only to leave behind ghost towns that mark the Wild West. Big Tech has essentially used San Francisco as a playground for over two decades. And now... If you double tap the arrow key, you can skip 10 seconds as well. My nigga, you so late. Nigga, they came out with that when they first invented computers. He said double tap it twice. So that's what a double tap is. It'll skip 10 seconds. Hey, bro, you know if you press it once, it skips five seconds? Duh. If you press it twice, of course it's, this nigga think we dumb or I'm dumb. What's five plus five? Nine? It's 10, motherfucker. Press it twice to go 10. Why you just say, you know, if you press the arrow once, it'll skip five seconds instead of saying double tap it and it'll go 10 seconds. Leave me alone, bro. Do your, you know what I'm saying? We been doing that shit. No, the space bar is new. With your old ass. You old, huh, bro? Damn. I bet you didn't know M me mute and P me pause, huh? Hey, yes I did, nigga. The fuck I do it all the time. In my reaction videos. If you press the spray bar, <laughs> now the space bar thing out of everything we talk about in keys up in this channel right now, up in this chat, the space bar thing is the newest to everybody. The space bar got to be the newest. Hey, Tay. Do something else. Watch this. It just muted because I press M. I'm going to press M again. Watch this. Damn, it just unmuted. That's crazy, right? Yeah. Has left behind an overpriced shell of a once great American metropolis. Anyways... The story of corporate greed is typically left out of the San Francisco conversation. All you seem to hear about on TV is that San Francisco is an apocalyptic third world wasteland. Brazen crime taking a huge toll on America's most this progressive city. Full of fentanyl, petty crime. That's the first skinny nigga I've seen with no neck. It usually be fat niggas with no necks, right? That nigga head runs straight into his shoulders. He ain't got no... <laughs> like, damn, at least... Shit. Taking a huge know. toll yeah, on America's most progressive city. Full of fentanyl, petty crime, graffiti, and so forth. People are being shot, stabbed, beaten, brutalized, and they fornicate, and they defecate, and they do everything. Is hey, this true, dick, or is this cap? Playing. Let's go find out. Act like you so my name is Trace else. McRae. I'm currently the president of San Francisco Police Officers Association. I've been a cop. So you uh, it's going to be almost 34 years. Is crime on the rise here? Certain types of crime are on. If she pull up and say, stop smoking weed, who's stopping? Not me. If she say, turn around, you're under arrest, who turned around? Not me. I'm like, come on, let's be real. 34 years? A uh, cop, uh, it's going to be almost 34, 34 years. years. I'm not scared of her, bro. 34 years, she made it that long because niggas is not scared of her. So she just said, fuck it. I. It got to be an intimidation factor when it comes to police. Unless you patrolling like elementary schools and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? I am not. I it's, no, no. Crime on the rise here. Certain types of crime are on the rise. So robberies, right? They are up about 12 to 15 percent. I mean, don't walk around with your cell phone out because it's finna get snatched. Uh, so Prop 47 lowered the threshold uh, for certain crimes like petty theft, right? Prop 47, it reduces certain drug and theft crimes from felony charges to misdemeanors. Before, 
if he stole anything over $400, that would be a felony charge with Prop 47. So now you can steal up to $949.99 and you just get a ticket if you're caught. It's a citation, Ooh. so it's akin to you running a stop sign, I pull you over and I give you a traffic citation. And you're either one of two people where you're like, oh shit, I got a ticket. Or you're like, I, I don't give shit. Back in November of what was that, 2022, people just ransacked into the Louis Vuitton and just made off. That made national news. Stunning video. This is going viral in San Francisco. <laughs> Brazen thieves emptied out the Louis Vuitton store in Union Square. So not a good look for the city because we would love for people to come here and visit and spend their money because tourism has always been our bread and butter. Welcome to the most beautiful city. My nigga. Imagine these, that's how you, that's how you know niggas is broke, immature, ain't gonna ever do shit with their life. If you still in clothes, my nigga, if you still in clothes from the Louis Vuitton store, you don't need them. You don't need them. If you ain't got no clothes for real, you stealing from Walmart. You trying to get you some pants, a shirt, some socks, and all that type. Imagine being a bummy, broke nigga with nothing that got on all drip. And I said, imagine that. That's 90% of the niggas in America. Let's keep it 100. But that's today, bro. They would rather look like it than really have the shit. I told that story where we used to steal like hamburger meat and mayonnaise and all that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? You only steal to survive if it's an item. These niggas are stealing Louis Vuitton for fucking what, bro? If it was some females up in here and they stealing male clothes, they selling that shit. I can understand that. The street market is real. But young niggas that look like they under the age of 21, 21 and under, these niggas ain't selling that, they wearing that. So you want to potentially to go to jail for an outfit, my nigga, that you can only wear it once. Louis ain't no, let me tell y'all something. No lie on my mama, rest in peace. I don't give a fuck how much money I got now. Back in the day, it's 30 days in a month, nigga. Now, let's not even go with the month. Let's go with a week, seven days in a week. On oh, my kids, on oh, my mama, rest in peace. Till this day, bro. Seven days out the week, I'll probably wear the same jeans two or three times. Just change the shirt and the sweater, nigga. In the shoes. I'm keeping it real. Louis Vuitton shit. When it's drip like that, you can only wear that shit once every three months, maybe. You don't want to be looked at like that with the same fucking designer shit on bro it ain't cool at all so what are these niggas doing you know what i'm saying probably finna go to a party that night a concert that night like motherfuckers are stupid bro young guys dumb niggas in the world san francisco i don't need frisco this past week they hit burberry they hit fendi they hit gucci Lieutenant McRae was making one thing clear. There was a massive organized retail boosting squad that was currently active in the immediate vicinity of Union Square. So I walked around Union Square and tried to find someone who might know something. Within 15 minutes, I identified the culprits. The Finesse Mall Gang, a graffiti and shoplifting crew known for spray painting public buses and stealing shit from Union Square. Anybody could go to a store, grab some shit and run out. Petty crime. It's about technique, it's how you do it. Hey, it's a lot going on though, you got the... For real, bro. For real, my nigga. And these don't even be hood. These is tagging crews, bro. He called a... They want to go back to his spot. He called a bus while it was rolling. As soon as he parked it, we tagged on the back of the bus. We, For real, bro. This make me want to get everybody... I'm finna go around Vegas... With a team and spray paint, I mean, and yeah, we finna paint over all this tag and shit on the east side and the west side. You think I'm lying, vlogs on the way, this just, just inspired me, bro. These niggas on some bullshit. 
These niggas on some bullshit. You got the drug sales, you got motherfuckers getting shot, car burglaries, you know, you name it, that's what's going everybody. on. That's how we get it, man, that's, that's all we know. Getting it out the mud, getting out these dirty streets. Tenderloin, but we all locked in over here, man. We got face car valid all through these trenches. Damn. How'd that make you feel? Man, I'm ready to do it again. <laughs> you broke ass, non-pussy getting ass nigga. You broke ass, can't make a dollar ass nigga. You weird ass, I want to do it again because it make my dick hard ass nigga. What do that do for you for real? No money in your pockets. Don't get you no further in life. You vandalize it, bro. I keep telling y'all the energy you put out is the energy you get back in this motherfucker. And I'm talking about the world, bro. Weirdo ass niggas, man. Y'all can cover the face on this one, right? Yeah, of course, okay, bro. Okay, Is that a good, like, adrenaline boost? Oh, yeah, absolutely. My heart pumps. Hey, look, let's go over here. Look at these niggas, bro. There. You feel me? Hi, Channel 5. My heart pumping. Hi, Channel 5. How do, how do you guys uh, make your money? Real man don't say hi. It's what's up. What up? <laughs> Something, nigga. This nigga said hi, Channel 5. You can't support yourself out here. Hey, look, before all these before all these niggas was doing this run out the store shit, we was walking out the store. We was. You can't say nigga, bro. I'm sorry. You broke ass niggas. <laughs> Stay got on a Nike man purse. We only wearing designer man bags, bro. You broke ass nigga. You broke ass nigga. You broke ass nigga. I was having them say, y'all have a good day. Finesse them all, that's what it is, man. It's FBA shit, man. If you were to guess, how much merchandise do you think you've been able to boost numerically in, in the past couple years? Oh, oh God, God, everything, bro. Yeah. Probably like a, a hundred ball, maybe? Maybe a little more than a yeah, hundred ball. About you that, know what I'm saying? Bro. A little more than a hundred ball. Hundred thousand. Yeah, hundred thousand. Yeah, hundred thousand. Hey, look, there's not a shop in Union Square that we haven't hit for at least ten bands. Of merch, though. Y'all not reselling this shit. All them designer stores, Montclair, Louis, Gucci, uh, Sunglasses Hut. We were smacking them, bro. Uh, I, used, I used to go to the Apple store and take the motherfucking display phones, bro. It's called Gorilla Boosting, bro. Go in there and come out, bro. Bare face and everything, no mask, you feel me? I'm in there, I'm getting out, bro. You know what I'm saying? Hey, honestly, I done splashed during the daytime, you feel me? I ain't even gonna cap. I done splashed over there on Lombard. Tourists over there here talking What the oh fuck? Oh my God, if y'all don't knock it off. What the fuck? I'm splashed over there on Lombard. Tourists over here talking about. Oh my yeah. That's why I say I, I, it's a higher power. Like the God, y'all put, putting a face on this nigga. How he look, how he, I don't believe in that. I believe it's a higher power. And that nigga got his hands on me. I'm not lying. And he got his hands on the people that's out there. And I'm not just cap. Bro, I would have. I got kids. I got YouTube shit going on. My mama just passed, bro. So I got my, I take care of my little brother now, my and my uh and my nephew. You know what I'm saying? We got a lot of shit going on. I would have risked it all to kill them niggas in that car over some merchandise, over them breaking in my car, taking some material shit. Didn't even harm me. I would have risked it all to kill them niggas in that car. I would have hopped out and emptied the clip on that whole car. God can kill my kids right now. I'm not lying. The fuck. The fuck, nigga? Give me life. Oh my god, this if y'all don't knock it up. off, you know what I'm saying? This is regular out here. Can you tell me a crazy boosting story? Crazy boost? Oh, oh my god. Oh, <laughs> what's time, bro? Which time? <laughs> Shit. Uh, I was, was going to Twin Peaks. Oh, and I was, uh, I was somebody parked up on the side trying to, you know what I'm saying? Take some pictures and shit like that. But we end up splashing they shit. Oh my god, I'm gone. Stay in here. Get down, get down. Call Ashley, call Ashley. Stay down. The next day, motherfuckers on the news. Team of gunmen rob a film crew in front of terrified witnesses. And see one of the robbery suspects pistol whips one of the victims. Tripod legs are hanging outside <laughs> of the rear passenger window and they drive away. For that camera though. Can't speak you know too much saying? on that, cause you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Tell them the Gucci story. Okay, so one time we went to the Gucci store. R.P. My nigga Fury, man. Rest FBA, Fury, man. FBA, we went to Gucci Fury, Square, man. The search continues this morning for the gunman who robbed another high-end designer store in San Francisco's Union Square. So I stole two two thousand dollar purses. He stole a tracksuit, alarms, and everything. My nigga Fury stole a couple things too, and he got alarms all through the Gucci uh, tracksuit. Walking I'm in, beeping, bro. Bam, bam, bam. and we're just everywhere we walk, bro. In the store, beeping. The motherfuckers knew he was up to no good. By the 
time they come up like, sir, you need any help? Nah, I just need help to show me where the exit's at now. I'm, I'm about done here. We walked out with like ten, fifteen thousand dollars worth of shit, bro. Are you guys worried about consequences? And they ain't getting no money, cause guess what they doing? Tagging on buses. They up here talking about they didn't hit for a hundred ball. They didn't do all this shit. Where's the money? Cause niggas with money is not tagging on buses, bro. So y'all either wearing a drip, y'all sold it for some bullshit. You doing it for nothing. These niggas is crash dummies. They just ready to get smoked or go to jail. That's it. That's the only reason they still living. They just ain't got smoked or went to jail yet. That's that's it. That's the only reason they still on the streets, bro. They ain't doing nothing productive with their life. They trying to. They want to get smoked and go to jail. Cause I promise you, you can get away for shit when you doing crime, bro. One day you can get away. One year you can get away. Ten years you can get away. But I don't know no nigga. I don't know no nigga that retired from crime. Life retired him for him. You know what I'm saying? Life retired that nigga. Prison or get smoked, nigga. Straight up. Or a scare. Let these niggas get a scare. Hey, you looking on the five, bro. This is like from the police out here. What? San Francisco doesn't believe in crime. What are you talking about? You know what I'm saying? Shout out to D.A. though. Oh, shout out uh, London Breed too. Shout out London Breed. And once the arrests are made, um, we are hopeful. This what you don't fucking do. She's not no police officer. She look like a D.A. You know what I'm saying? Oh, never mind. That's the mayor. It's a mayor's press conference. <laughs> shout out London. My nigga. You say you from where FDA, however y'all threw that shit up and you was tagging it on the buses. Go ahead and antagonize the mayor. This video already got millions of views, bro. They will put a hit on FDA so hard. All you niggas will be gaffled up in one day. This is what niggas don't understand. Just because the police ain't got your hood right here and there and they ain't did all this, they got other shit to do. Or they probably don't want to get y'all niggas today. They get y'all niggas tomorrow. Or next year, or the year after that. Y'all not active like y'all think y'all is. But let you get on TV taunting these motherfuckers. They regular, we gonna get them. You gotta understand, these motherfuckers went to college. They got money. They got the, I mean, uh, certificate. They got all this shit, bro. They got an ego. They in the upper class than you. So when you get on there, on camera, as a degenerate, gang-banging tagger that robs stores, and say her name at her nigga on TV. She ain't gonna come get your ass, bro. They don't come get your ass, nigga. And shout out London Breed. What the nigga say? Breed too. You know what I'm saying? Shout out the DA though. Oh, shout out uh, London Breed too. Shout <laughs> okay. out London Breed. And once okay. the arrest are Mayor London Breed. Okay. Keep on playing. Okay. Are made. Um, we are hopeful that our DA will prosecute. I did playing. time in San Francisco, but never like stayed more than like a couple like a couple weeks. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We've been doing consequences since juvenile hall. Hold on. Are made. Um, we are hopeful that our DA will prosecute. I did time in San Francisco, but never like stayed more than like a couple like a couple weeks. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We've been doing consequences since juvenile hall. Graduated to prison. Most definitely. Still out here, same shit, same environment. I think they don't get. They fucked up. By yelling their gang name. These niggas is stupid. These niggas is stupid, bro. We we need a uh yeah, two months, six months, we could say six months. We need an update on these niggas, man. Give a fuck. Do you think that's changing the way that like businesses decide to move their shit here? Oh yeah, for sure. That's why they're all closing down the market. Since the start of the year, the city has seen the exit of more than a dozen national retailers from the downtown area. Yeah, yeah. Do you guys feel bad about that? Or? Absolutely not. Welcome to the Bay. Straight I can't up. Call Welcome it. to I the can't. Bay, bro. Welcome to the city. And, and, and I hope when you executives come over here to finalize the, the, the paperwork to sign to close the store, you should get splashed, my nigga. Welcome to the Bay Area, bro. It's just what we do. We do it all. Splash shit. Line them up. Stain no. gang. We do all that, bro. No. Trap. Bip City. Everything, bro. Out the bitch. You name it, we doing it. Still broke as fuck. Working with our Hondos. You know, this 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 baby Honduras right here, man. I mean, shocking discovery in California's drug trade. Hundreds of San Francisco's dealers are coming to our state from just one place. Bro, you just said you hope them youngsters fix their life up. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. You can go to a hood right now, any hood in America, bro, right now, and gaffle up. 
20 random niggas out that hood that's banging, that's sliding, that's really with the shit. 20 of them niggas, gaffle them up and tell them to change their life right now. All 20 gonna look at you like you fucking stupid, bro. Life gotta change it for them. These niggas is hard headed. If you keep getting away with shit, you gonna think you gonna keep getting away with shit. Until your ass get gaffled up. Most niggas in the hood, bro, they mama can sit them down. A nigga that got shot 19 times can sit them down. They ain't gonna listen to that, especially if they got a name out here, they respect it out here. They getting bitches off their name. It's, it's not happening, bro. And the reason why I said that, I said real niggas that's from their hood and sliders. Now, niggas that act tough, you can get them to do it if you talk to them a few times. Take them outside city limits, show them something different. But a real hood nigga, you take him outside city limits and show him something different, he going to come back like, cuz, this is what I just seen. Hey, blood, I just went out there. That shit was crazy. I don't give a fuck. I'm telling y'all. It ain't, it ain't, you can't stop a nigga. It, it, it's something tragically got to happen to the nigga. His homeboy gets smoked right in front of him type shit. His mama tell him on her deathbed, like, I don't want you banging no more. But him by himself not going to stop. The hood is addictive. If y'all never lived, like, lived in one. The shit is addictive, bro. And once you got a name, for real, it, it, you ain't, you ain't stopping. To your ass go to jail or get smoked. Being real. Place. The small town of Syria Valley. It's in the middle of Honduras. You can see in these pictures that many homes in the Syria Valley are built with images of familiar Bay Area icons. <laughs> I work at La Cocina up the street. It's about 30, 40 Hondos out in front of that motherfucker every day selling dope. They said they're in Honduras. Hey, bro, what the fuck? What you want, bro? Don't be recording all of that up in my face, bro. Get that shit up on, hey, bro. I don't fuck so around like that, bro. The Hondos are Hondurans, and uh, the, they're posted on every block. Police roll right past. They don't get out. They don't roll their window down. They don't say shit. They just look at them. Keep going. What's going on with the Honduran gangs here? Uh, as far as I know it, you get a lot of like young people that are trying to cross into the country, and so they get sponsored. You get a lot of Mexican cartels that are offering basically protection to these young people, and then once you're here, you're working for them. This is a very important part of the story. I had a chance to speak with a couple Hondos, but I did so off camera. Putting them on camera could put them and their families at serious risk. Here's how it works, and here's why they're in San Francisco. Let's start with the history of fentanyl. Fentanyl is produced by China, or in China, depending on how you look at it. They sell most of their product so legally to American pharmaceutical companies, like Johnson & Johnson, who owns the patent to- Let's keep it real, man. China's the hub. And they don't get a lot of respect like they should. China's the hub, my nigga. Let's keep it 100. I just, I would never go in that motherfucker, because I heard you, it's so, my nigga, I don't know if it's true or not, that you can't get on YouTube or some shit like that. Let you smoke a blunt out there, nigga. You going to prison. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't go out there because of their laws. But everything else, my nigga, they three-year-old daughter is smarter than the smartest nigga out here that graduated from college. <laughs> my fucking the China is smart, bro. You be, hey, it be a whole factory ran. Computers coming out that shit. Drones coming out that shit. You're like, damn, I ain't never seen nothing like this. As soon as you go in there, it's all kids working there. Like, what the fuck? How the fuck all these kids is smart as shit? You talk to the boss. I am the boss. <laughs> the manager here. I am the manager. <laughs> like, damn. Little motherfuckers is smart, bro. iPhones and shit. Like, China the hub, bro. The fentanyl patches, fentanyl candy, and fentanyl liquid IV drip. Fentanyl is used in op. Last year, cyber, we broke all these Fabletic sales records because of my irresponsible offer. 70% off operating rooms and to control pain after surgery. Much like Nike, Apple, and other American corporations looking to save money by outsourcing production to countries with lax. Hey, so I was watching the video on YouTube the other night on the nigga that invented Nike, right? Do y'all know us dumb ass Americans start calling it that? <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> Nigga, how this what I'm saying? We just follow shit, bro. Three months ago, I was that day years old. 
When I found out Nikes is not pronounced Nikes, they Nikes. They Nikes. Americans start calling them Nikes, bro, and then niggas just start running with the shit. They are called Nikes. Shit, crazy. Labor regulations. American pharmaceutical companies literally procured trillion dollar contracts with Chinese medicine manufacturers to produce cheap generics of many of our favorite drugs today. Percocet. Oxycot. Fuck, Dex! Methazine and codeine, aka Dirty Sprite. Yeah, Mike's like Mike. And last but not least, the man of the hour, fentanyl. There's not really any music about fentanyl yet. Fentanyl is going to bind to your opioid receptors in your central nervous system. Well, at some point, these Chinese manufacturers realized there was more eager clients besides Johnson & Johnson. And the coolest thing about these new clients, they don't even need you to actually make the fentanyl. All they need is the analog precursors, sodium borohydrate and chloride. They bake it down, bag it up, and smuggle it into the U.S. And these companies were the Sinaloa Cartel and the Jalisco New Generation Cartel, two billion dollar Mexican drug empires competing for control of smuggling routes into the United States. And so it began. Drug overdoses are killing more Americans. But they will never admit, they will never admit that they brought the coke over here though, never. Never. Right now, what what makes more money on the street? Prescribed drugs or illegal drugs like cocaine and heroin and all that shit? Y'all let me know. I know. They will never admit that the whole company, I mean the whole company, <laughs> the whole country First time getting hooked on drugs was because of them. It's because of the cocaine, bro. We didn't have no way to grow this shit. We didn't know what it was. We didn't know about no factories. We didn't know nothing. Bro, we didn't even know what this shit was till it came over here on the boat. To you niggas that saying cocaine, you are wrong. And, and for you to say one drug, some of y'all saying meth, coke, if you think one drug making more money than all prescribed drugs, you stupid. I said illegal drugs versus prescribed drugs, not one. Now, if you put weed, coke, meth, heroin, and all that shit up in there, then we got an argument. But a lot of y'all niggas just saying one type of drug makes more money than all prescribed drugs on the streets, you stupid, nigga. Weed is legal now. Weed don't count. My nigga, weed is the weed. Nigga, when weed shops wasn't out, you was barely making money off weed. Now that weed shops is out, come on, man. Uh uh. Bro, I'm going to keep it 100 with you. I buy weed from the homies because they're the homies. And then I smoke it when I'm like driving or some shit or, you know. Street weed don't do it for me no more, nigga. It don't hit like, you know what I'm saying? It don't it don't hit like that no more. Not to me, nigga. It's it's it's, it's like smoking not smoking stress weed, but you know, alcohol don't count. Alcohol is legal. Americans now than at any time in history. 100,000 people died. At 22 years old, Sawyer Post made a mistake. He tried Percocet, a prescription painkiller. The Percocet itself was laced with fentanyl. Unfortunately, uh, my son. Krista says she believes this was Trinity's first time trying drugs. Nine-year-old died from a fentanyl overdose. Every day, 200 Americans die from a fentanyl overdose. Since 2018, which is around when nine? these American-funded Chinese manufacturers began working with the cartels in Mexico, that number is now over 260,000 people. In San Francisco, about two people die from an overdose every day. Here is some incredibly sad footage of a husband handing over his wife's body to the San Francisco medical examiners. So, 
200 people die in the country a day of fentanyl, they said. San Francisco, they said two people die a day. Ten percent of two hundred is twenty. If two people die a day, what percentage is that? Because it sounds like they're trying to say San Francisco got the highest rate of fentanyl death in the country, or am I tripping? Because. If it's 50 states in the country and two people die a day in one state, then, well, shit, that's two people in a lot of states. <laughs> because if it's 50, 100, what, 50 countries, 200 people, that means it's 150 left. So never mind. No argument there. Never mind. I'm about to try to laugh at that, but telling the dead person you love him to death is fucking crazy, bro. I'm not. <laughs> that is not funny, bro. It's just the way, just the scenario right now. Like, you see this nigga dead getting up in a, in a, in a, you know, in the corner van, and you telling him bye, I love you to death. That shit hit a little. A little funny, right? Or am I tripping? He can't hear you. I mean, not like that, but y'all get what I'm saying, though. Can I give you a hug? Oh, here, man, thank you. I can't take it anymore. You didn't even know Vicky, did you? No. Why, what you mean why I keep in what you ignoring what you want some dick or something nigga damn in your name say user ghost you keep ignoring me you keep ignoring me my nigga I am doing this video I respond when I respond damn go get you a bitch or something like leave me the fuck alone you ignoring me you ignoring me this the only kind of response you get from a comment like that nigga real life shit let's do it like we real life even though we on the computer Imagine a nigga, you telling another nigga, you're ignoring me, you're ignoring me, standing right next to the nigga, bro, you, 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 bitch. The fuck? Do y'all look at shit like that? Or no? Like, would I do this in real life that I'm doing on the internet? Damn, I'm a bitch. Yeah. Chill out. Fuck. Now, what you have to understand is that from a distribution standpoint, the current fentanyl crisis is much different. Wait, do everybody got morals or is it just me? Because morals is doing something and having them even when nobody is looking, my nigga. I can't troll a nigga even though they don't know it's me. Even if I had a fake account, which I would never do it. That's some bitch ass nigga shit too. I can't get on another nigga account and just talk shit because I know inside it's some bitch ass shit like. It's fucking with my moral. Y'all ain't got that? Like, bro, develop that. Get a big homie. Call your daddy. Unless that nigga's a bitch or something. I don't... That shit crazy, bro. Like, chill. Nigga, you chill. Fuck. Shit crazy. Than America's last significant drug crisis, which was the crack cocaine epidemic in the 1980s. Back then, cartels and possibly the CIA sold directly to American gangs to distribute in places like Los Angeles, Miami, and New York City. However, over time, the cartels realized that it was much more profitable to import their own dealers into the United States from impoverished third world nations. This is what's going on with the Hondurans. The cartel scouts in the slums of Central America and finds working age males in poverty 
poverty. They promised them free, safe passage up north into the United States. Now, we at Channel 5 may or may the, not have recently gone. All the Mexican, Latino, Spanish, whatever countries, I think all eight bitches is bad. I'm going to drop that video on Brazil <laughs> that we did the other night. But, I mean, not Brazil, the DR, but the DR. Brazil, Puerto Rico, Honduras, my nigga, any other Mexican, Spain, the bitches, Mexican bitches is different, my nigga. Get you one, try you one. Tell me if you white and you staying white, you tripping. If you black and you staying black, you tripping. I mean, I mean not tripping, but you tripping. It's okay to dip and dab. If you old school, if you old school, to you niggas that's in your thirties. What your grandma be saying? I don't care what you do. You just don't. If you black, I don't care what you do. Just don't bring a white woman home. <laughs> Grandmas be tripping, bro. They just don't bring no white woman home. They never said that about no basketball, nigga. They never said don't bring an Asian woman or a Mexican woman home. You know what I'm saying? Let me tell you something. Masking females, bro. Put it like this. We different races, of course, for a fucking reason. You know what I'm saying? We act a certain way. Our hair is different. Our, which means we all got different personalities. To you black men out there, a black queen is golden, bro. A black queen is it, it, it's nothing like a black woman. You know what I'm saying? She know you. You up here tripping like, man, you, you take your hat off real quick when the police get behind you. Like, she like, oh, shit, the police must be. She ain't even see it. Oh, shit, the police must be behind us, huh? Yeah, babe, just just drive regular. If you were a white girl, why you take your hat off? They're not worried about you. You can do five over the speed limit. What the fuck? I wish they would pull you over. She don't understand that shit. But anyway, black woman, golden, right? The Mexican woman is like, how can I put this shit, bro? It's like, of course she's not a black woman. But they understand everything about you, your struggles that a black woman understand. That's what make them so fucking attractive. Pull out a gun in front of a Mexican female, she not tripping Police around, you tripping, she tripping. She ain't tripping on no weed smoke, bro. Her daddy in the pen, just like yours. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm keeping it real with you. It's just something about them that's just so comfortable. Like, and then they look different to what you used to, but then they like the same. I can't explain this shit. It's it's Damn, I can't explain this shit. They different, but they did. They cook different, bro. They fuck different. A masculine female, I swear to God. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Facts. Ooh, my, my sound went out, my bad. My sound went out. To Latin America to follow in the footsteps of one of these Honduran migrants. But I will tell you this, shortly after being smuggled across the US border, many of these Hondurans are driven straight to San Francisco, given a package of fentanyl, given a street corner, and told they must sell it to pay off their coyotes. Anyways, mm. more from the FEA gang. Just catch a real quick tag. Rico. F.E.A. Rico gang, and they really doing the extras because they on camera, bro. Right here. You guys going to the dead show? Yeah. Have fun. I will. 
As I stood on Market Street with FEA, a group of middle schoolers from Oakland approached us with backpacks full of candy for sale. You take cash out, little brother? Yeah, for sure. I got juice and stuff. Mine's like dirty. I got a hell of a shit. You want some candy? At first, I wasn't sure what was going on. They stole all that shit. My new friend broke it down. Yeah, so behind us right here, man, you know what I'm saying? We got these kids. I say about 12 to 15, 16. You heard one of them, he say from Oakland, so they hop on bar, come out here. This is Money Zone. Like I said, I ain't from out here either. Everybody comes out here from other cities. Rarely will you find someone from the city that's actually out here hustling. Basically what they did, you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna speak too deep on it, but come here with some backpacks, go to a store, fill it up with candy, walk down market, and the tourists, nine times out of 10, they gonna buy it. They think, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, okay, look at these kids. They're trying to, they got the little hustle going on here. We respect it. They could be out here stripping shit, this and that, so we're gonna support it. You know what I'm saying? Little do they know. They are then, stripping shit. They're you know, stealing you, it. You graduate. Now you figure out about bipping. Now you figure about house licks. Now you figure about playing with guns. Now you, now you start, ex, you know what I'm saying? You expand your horizon. You feel me? Bro, it ends up how me and my nigga Trey's ended up, bro. You, you start going to juvenile hall, and then you go to county jail, and then you go to prison. Which is dope, huh? But he's supporting the young niggas because we used to do some shit like that too. The escalation of crime is pretty interesting. Oh, it is. You know, they start looking up to the wrong kind of things too. Like they look up to my nigga right here. You feel me? Bape outfit, you know, off white belts, Jordans. That's the ultimate goal is I want to be out here. Bro, who the fuck wearing bait? This video came out five days ago talking about bait outfit, off white. Niggas off white ain't even cracking no more, bro. The fuck this nigga just. That's what I'm saying. Why you ain't talking about the Louis and the Gucci and all that shit you stole? So he's supporting the young niggas because we used to do some shit like that too. To the escalation nigga. of crime is pretty interesting. Oh, it is. You know, they start looking up to the wrong kind of things too. Like they look up to my nigga right here. You feel me? Bape outfit, you know, off white belts, Jordans. That's the ultimate goal is I want to be out here saucy. You know what I'm saying? There's no talking to the young generation either. They don't want to hear it because I didn't want to hear it. Is it. My nigga, you still ain't heard it. So therefore, you a grown nigga. You keep saying little niggas, the young generation. So you a grown ass man tagging, bro? And you going to prison. I can't wait till old girl get y'all niggas. I can't wait. I ain't never want nobody to go to jail so bad. <laughs> I'm playing, but I'm not playing. I want these niggas to get gaffled up or call it out the homegirl on stream. I ain't lying. She the mayor, bro. She, you know how much it takes to be the mayor trying to run this shit that she got you niggas calling her out on. Bro, she ain't the police. Call out the police chief or some shit. Nigga talking about he got the bait on the off white. Won't they woo? With a Nike man purse. Broke ass nigga. These niggas is weird, bro. Is it possible to like stop people from going down this road? <sighs> Not really, because if you want it, you're gonna get it. Yeah. I was the same way. <laughs> you know, I was going to juvenile hall, motherfuckers was trying to preach this and preach that and what you gonna do when you're making no money. That's what I'm telling y'all. You can't you gotta wanna I'm change yourself, bro. I, that goes for anything, my nigga. That goes for cheating. That goes for alcoholics, drug addicts, gang bangers. Your family can have a whole setup for you. Like, what they call that shit to where, damn, what they call that shit. You know when the whole family meet up, they be like, oh, we're going to go to Magic Mountain. Meet us right here. Then when you go right there, it'd be like a meeting with an AA. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be an AA meeting with your alcoholic or your high ass. It's all about your sobriety, bro. We ain't going to imagine, mom. We just wanted to get you here. Soon as you walk in there, your whole family just standing right there crying, like, We're sorry we had to do this to you. You just won't stop drinking, Barbara. You won't stop drinking. What do they call that shit, bro? <laughs> You got to be a high, a high a intervention. There you go. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Intervention, bro. You got to be a high-ass nigga. If they got to sneak and plan an intervention, but they got to say, we going to the skating ring just so you can come. <laughs> they know you don't want to help yourself. And niggas know you don't want to help your motherfucking self, bro. We got to make it seem like some shit she want to do. I swear to God. Got a baby on the way with a lady. She don't understand you a little crazy. What you the fuck? The you stealing from your parents and running. This is not connected to the kids, bro. This is lightweight racism. I'm not lying. Y'all want to cat? Look, bro. We are in jail. Juvie at that. 
Nine and a half times out of ten. If a kid is doing crime, he influenced by rap music. He listen to rap music. So what they do, get an old ass white man to come in there and rap just so he can kind of connect. That's racist, bro. This shit is so, who the fuck is he? <laughs> if it's Tupac. Who is this? motherfuckers was trying to preach this and preach that and What you gonna do when you're making no money and you're dropping out of high school? Got a baby on the way with a lady She don't understand you a little crazy He rapping too <laughs> Shit Shit, this nigga, bro, I, I ain't never, when have you ever heard me say cringe once or twice, right? Well, this is the second or third time. This is the most cringe shit I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I don't even use that. I don't use new words, bro. I don't, I, what's the, what's new word? What's words y'all niggas use today? Fuck that, I don't, but this shit right here, bro, it's some braces. If imagine, matter of fact, is it racist? Imagine a white man rapping to a room full of white kids, because that's what it looked like. Y'all ain't no circulation going around in this room, bro. No circulation going around in this room, bro. This thing it is. <laughs> You can't even stop. You're stealing from your parents and running from the cops. Yeah, let me keep it real. Take a moment, look back. Every kid's got a dream that it wasn't be a drug addict. If you want to be high, be a hope dealer. I don't want to hear none of it. You feel me? I don't want to be a hope dealer. <laughs> How long did it take that nigga to memorize this rap, bro? Fuck the D. We want the H. We are hope dealers. This nigga message, they paying this nigga for nothing, bro. You supposed to have an ex game banger that been in prison before to come up in here and do this shit. Y'all got this old square ass. Mr. Square. Damn. Life is crazy, right, squad? I hear you with you guys change your life and this and that and what it leads to. Like, I ain't tripping, bro. What are your aspirations for your life beyond this? Me? Shit, I'm trying to get it together now, man. I've spent way too many years fucking up, you know what I'm saying? I'm I'm getting I'm getting close to 30 now, bro, and this shit. Nigga, 30 motherfucking years old. This nigga's 30 motherfucking years old tagging on buses, bro. How you trying to get your life together? When 20 minutes before this shit. You up here glorifying your run-ins with the fucking Gucci store. You tag 30? Like I tell y'all, the graveyard of prison is the only thing that's going to stop this nigga. When you 30 and still doing this shit, you broke in a motherfucker, bro. You are broke than a motherfucker if you're doing this shit at 30. Clown. Just trying to get into a union or something like that. That's the that's the plan right now, bro. You know what I'm saying? And and, and I'm in the process of that, bro. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of behind the scenes with 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 with, the, with this shit. You feel me? This is just damn. You guys bought hella candy. What the fuck? You see how much candy they got? It's just it's not even about the candy, man. It's, it's just the support. The I don't even want the candy. You know what I mean? You got to support. Shit, I'm about to head back to San. But uh, my nigga's gonna be out here. Pleasure meeting you both. My new friends from FEA said this they had to go sad. back to San <laughs> But I wanted to keep checking out the streets of the Tenderloin. So they linked me up with their friend named Antoine, who is a couple blocks away. Yo, hey, what's up with my loved one? I'ma tell you like this, man. I done seen everything in San Francisco. The only thing I ain't never seen, a bitch that I need and a turtle with speed. Nigga, on anything I love, nigga. Fake ass, pimp ass nigga, bro. Only thing I never seen is a bitch I need to turtle with speed. I live in Vegas. Every pimp nigga used that line. Nigga, you are broke as fuck. You pulled up on a bike. You need every 
bitch that comes your way, bro. And by the look of you, you have no bitches. The fuck? This nigga is 50 years old. And the reason I say that, because he got them headphones around his fucking neck. <laughs> he do. Bro is 50. And he pulled up on a bike. You need $3 if a nigga give it to you. What the fuck are you talking about, nigga? This is a, we are so lost as a people. Not even as a race. As a, as a species. We just fucking lost. Just the whole human speech just lost. Hate this nigga right here, but I hate everybody in this blog except for the interview. Yeah. The Bippin' shit is going bananas, nigga. Look, when I say bananas, bananas, nigga. Oh, hey, dang, nigga. I swear to God, I quit my. We ain't gonna get into all that, but just know if your cousin show up and. Cause you ain't got nothing to get into. You talking too much and you talking too fast for your brain to process the shit. He is. You don't even know what he's saying. He hear it after he say it. He don't know what he's saying, bro. To your house at three in the morning with a duffel bag and he happy. He did his thug thizzle that evening. You feel me? And it's a little petty crying, little slap on the wrist. You feel me? I'm talking about you go go sit up in county about three, four days depending on what kind of prize you got. They gonna let you right about that motherfucker. Motherfuckers get right back up in that motherfucker. Petty crying, Sparkies on the lease, top and pull that motherfucker right back. Spark plugs and break a window quicker than a bip on my mama. So can you tell us where we're at and what's going on? And we is on 8th and Market, the notorious 8th and Market. You can find everything down here on 8th and Market. 8th and Market, the notorious 8th and Market. You can find... This nigga is walking his bike with them big ass jeans on. And he said one thing he never needed was a bitch. He capping. This is the brokest nigga in... I like reaction. I love doing reaction videos. I love this shit. I do. I wouldn't even watch the whole 47 minute video if I wasn't doing a reaction to it. I'm gonna keep it real. Then I run into niggas like this, like, man, I love this shit. Because I be thinking these type of niggas extinct. You know what I'm saying? I do. I be running to them like that. Nigga, I live in Vegas now. I be like, I'm out the way. Like, do my own thing. Clown ass nigga right here, bro. <laughs> Clown ass nigga right here. Bro is walking his bike. You walking your bike. Everything down here on 8th and Market. From a uh, hygiene bottle to fitting all to bikes to wheelchairs. If you want a wheelchair, you come down here and get a wheelchair. So if you want some apple juice or canned goods, you get it for the low. You ain't got to go to Food Code Safeway. Come right here. Jacob Shibashevsky, who owns Fermentation Lab on Market Street, says crime in the mid-market area has worsened post-pandemic. I wish, I wish there was more that could be done. So it's cool with me because I've been in San Francisco all my life. But for people that just moving out here, it's starting to, it's really hurting them because they're, they're not used to this. So it's like the people that's ginger... This is how you know this nigga ain't got no money, bro. Or that could be done. So it's cool with me, because I've been a Sam This nigga decked his bike out like a little ass kid. Pink and green camouflage, bro. And I know he tried his hardest because he got the pink brake. Look at the brake on the handlebar. He tried to be color coded. That's his life. And he wore them jeans because the little pinkish reddish in the jeans matched the bike. Broke, nigga. Broke pimp nigga. Fake getting money ass nigga. Nowhere to go ass nigga. I don't get no pussy at. I smoke. This nigga is garbage bro. He fuck smokers. He get his dick sucked by tweakers. I'm not lying. He don't even know when the next time he gonna eat. He just know he gonna eat today somehow. Them glasses are stolen. He got bad health. He didn't brush his teeth today my nigga. This interview was the highlight of his year. His mama don't fuck with him. His brother don't fuck with him. He stink. Sometimes, because when you fresh, he, he put cologne over, over stink. He wore that sweater yesterday. He's gonna wear it tomorrow. And them headphones stink. How you know that, Ghost? 
They around this nigga neck all day. It's hot outside and he got on a sweater. Imagine wet dirt mixed with salt. Cause our bodies produce a little salt sometimes. You know what I'm saying? That nigga draws. It's so fucking baggy. Y'all know how draws, y'all know it. Y'all know how you wear your jaws so much? They worn out to where it feel like silk. The lining in his jaws is faded. It, it, it's, it's faded, bro. He is wearing socks. I'll give him that. But I can bet anybody in chat any kind of money. One of them a hang sock and the other one say dickies or some shit. You know what I'm saying? They not matching socks, bro. This nigga sleep with his clothes on. All of them. Like, and he don't take that shit off, bro. The only thing he care about, the only responsibility he got in his life is his bike, my nigga. It's the bike. That's the only thing he makes sure that got air. This nigga wash his bike more than he wash himself, my nigga. I want to get high today. I want to get high tomorrow. And this is just the rest of his fucking life. This is the rest of his life right here, bro. San Francisco all my life. But for people that just moving out. Told you. All my life. <laughs> Told you. All my life. <laughs> Stick is trash, bro. Here, it's starting to, it's really hurting them because they're, they're not used to this. So it's like the people that's gentrifying and coming into our neighborhood and these new tech company buildings and stuff are the ones that's complaining. Mm -hmm. If you don't like it, go back home. I'm okay with that. Uh, shit, I'm tired of San Francisco being packed. Go ahead, close this motherfucker down. Let us get back to who we was before. The people that's been here, we okay with this. This has been going on. <laughs> Bro, I'm just now paying attention. I'm gonna leave this nigga alone, bro. I'm gonna leave this nigga alone because he gonna make he gonna make me bury him, and I ain't. I will. I will baptize this nigga in person, bro. I will make this nigga. When I want to fight, I just clown niggas, and I don't stop. Or heart goes. That's enough. Oh, so you so you saying you losing? That means you retreating, huh, bitch? <laughs> I'm on your ass, nigga. I don't feel like I won until you get mad and leave or get mad and want to fight me, but don't because, you know, I knock your punk ass. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? I will baptize this nigga, bro. The fuck you doing interviews for? It's the wrong one. Go to a job interview, my nigga. He ain't getting no money from this shit. This channel, how many views this shit got? Three million something, so almost like twenty some thousand dollars. What the fuck you get? Ain't no bitches watch this video. Like, damn, who is that? Nope. I can put my right hand on any kind of Bible that no bitch it got. Let me see. This shit got four million views. Out of the four million people that watched this, not one bitch wanted to know if you still over there. Damn, that nigga sexy. Because trust me, bitches do it all the time when they watch that shit on YouTube, Tubi, nigga. Football players, when they come off the screen, they be like, oh, he cute. Nobody, nigga. You just a bum, broke, stanky, fat motherfucker. I don't work out. Don't plan on working out. All you do is eat out. No vegetable, no home, no response, no nothing for this nigga, bro. Swear to God. Going on before our time. This has been going on for years and decades. It's just visible now because they don't have nowhere to put them. Because if you look at documentaries from 1980s in San Francisco, they've been doing this. This, this been going on. The rush is what got me. Not, I'm not gonna say we cool with it, but we understand it. We we see how it goes. The pro club under that nigga sweater says it all, my nigga. You know your pro club is fucked up when the bottom start folding out like a skirt, bro. Whew. I can't believe this nigga, man. He he on TV like shit is cool. Bro walked his bike in the TV. Hopefully somebody be like, oh, that shit is dope. Or you want to join my biker squad? Or 
can I buy that or 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 fucking or you know what I'm saying this nigga had them shoes he didn't buy them this year can y'all imagine this nigga taking $200 to go buy them fucking shoes let's keep it 100 $200 is how much them shoes cost, bro. Y'all think he going to spend $200 on them shoes? He came up on them. Somebody washed their shoes, left them on the porch, and he stole them. It's, it's some, bro, I don't see this nigga walking in nowhere paying money for nothing unless it's food. All his shit is hand-me-downs. I can... I can bet my bottom dollar, my last dollar. He did not buy that fucking bike from the store, bro. He stole it. It was given to him. Somebody let him borrow it. And never. This nigga stole that bike as it is. This motherfucker ain't got no money to decorate his damn bike. Like, let's, let's, let's keep it real. Somebody watching this video right now like, damn, my bike. Yeah, this nigga stole it. The fuck? Bike look expensive. I ain't even talking about the color. I'm talking about the wheels on there, the handlebars, the them bike grips off Amazon. The fuck wrong with this nigga, bro? Who bike is this? We okay with that. No, this this right. guy's doing a nitrous balloon. You think he's here for the Grateful Dead show or you think he's a homeless guy? Uh, you here for the Grateful Dead show or you living on the streets? All gas, no break. Hell all yeah. Gas, no break. There you go. <laughs> I think at this point, it's important to note that this entire documentary was pretty much filmed 